as we say. Harish Kundu is the match referee. And we're off and running in the second leg with the Kerala Blasters leading by a goal to nil. Sahal with the only goal in the first leg. Pereira Diaz, great ball through. Vasquez, they're a little bit on their heels here. Jamshedpour, lovely feet, oh, he's chipped in wide. Vasquez, what a chance. He took the wrong option, possibly. He watched the goalkeeper, he was off his line. He just didn't execute it properly. Sandy. Good again, looking for Pereira Diaz this time. Oh, and he comes across Pereira Diaz! Deflects onto the crossbar, comes back out to Nishi. Pereira Diaz! Flags up, he won't count. It was a very, very late flag on the far side. Exciting player to watch, or the most skillful. But what he gives you is hard work, harassing people and getting those little blocks in. It's exactly what he did against Hartley. And who's there? Nishu Kuma doing a good job getting across. Nice little pull back towards Ayosha on the edge of the box. Brilliant block by Peter Hartley. Good ball all round. That, that pass from Diaz had perfect weight on it. And the block even better from the skipper, Peter Hartley. Nice little flip back inside to Adrian Luna. This is his sort of range, twisting and turning. Went for the cover! Brilliant finish again by Adrian Luna. Well, we're so used to seeing those dipping balls over the goalkeeper. Well, the X Factors come to the rescue again. You thought he was going to do one of those dipping shots from there, and Dimliana went inside and turned his back on Luna. You cannot do that because he's got more than one trick in his locker. And he just opens himself up and puts it right into that far corner. TP Ren has absolutely no chance. What a beautiful side foot finish right in the corner of the net. A beautiful start for the Kerala Blasters. You have to say they certainly deserve that lead. Two in the middle. Hops to go back to Adrian Luna. Nice little floaty ball into it. Pereira Diaz Rehenesh just lost it. And they managed to gather. He's claiming he was fouled by. Well, Luna loves cutting inside and putting the ball on his right foot because he knows he's got people like Diaz willing to put his body in the way. Good character shown. Stewart, who's with the timing of the by Pandita. Chakrou! Flex stays down. Carolina are furious with the assistant referee on this near side. They've come racing over. But Daniel Chima Chakrou scores yet again for Jamshed Paul. Well, it was offside. And I'm not sure what's happened here forward again into his Eli Savia too close to Pram Shumankil who locked it to punch and he is there knocks it out of his hands does it still not under control on well, the foul's gone the other way but the goalkeeper didn't have the ball under control and Peter Hartley's reaction tells it all they're spurious jump shed ball well he saw the big boys coming at him he was was not in a position to punch the ball and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that from Eli Savia nor from Chukwu I wonder if it well, there is the half-time whistle, Adrian Luna, another stunning goal for him to double the aggr aggregate lead in the first half. Still the same uphill struggle for the men of Steelers. Harish Kundu gets us underway for the second half. Kerala Blasters in their familiar yellow, all red for John Shedport. Bouncing great deliveries tonight from Stewart, better pace on it though, Chuck Wood. Well, he ran in front of goal and this time it has been stabbed home. And that one will count. May well have been Prane Halder that got the final touch in a crowd of players, but finally a great delivery from Stewart. Well, they love to put pressure to put themselves in positions like this. Chukwu wins the header, and Prane Halder will not score an easier goal in his career. Just fell so kindly to him. A little swivel. And Diaz on the line, tried to come out, he couldn't get anything on it, but it's a great little toe poke to put them back into this tie. Owen Cole knows. One ruled out correctly, it has to be said in the first half, but... Finally, something goes their way. Great ball for Alvaro Vasquez. He's too wet for the chip once again. And it's Savia just gets there and clears it off the line. In the first half, it's a lovely ball through. Great combination. And Vasquez did exactly the same technique, trying to lift it over. And Eli Saab at the moment. Chipped in by Luna. Leskovic wasn't too far away. Made great ground with the header. It's a great delivery in as well. The middle of the goal. It's something they've worked on on the training ground to try and avoid. The likes of Sabia and Hartley. To Lonzo, long range shot just wide. Getting on the end of something and pulling the trigger and making the goalkeeper work. Here comes Greg Stewart, pushed away by Gill, nobody following in. Eventually there was a touch. 
And it was Pereira Diaz on the line that hammered the ball away to safety. Stewart puts it on target and Gil opts to punch again. He was very lucky that his teammate Diaz went all the way back to the line to defend. Dangerous one in behind, Harley's there! Bobbles the ball across the box, no one was following him. But where were the red shirts? There was only one player in the box there, Hartley, and it's all he could do is put it back into the middle and hope somebody would have been there. There he goes in behind, it's Pandita straight into pressure in Gill's hands. Nobody is picking up Ishan Pandita, who has the knack of scoring late goals with his head. Second half after Jam Sheffield got that goal back, and there goes the whistle. The Kerala Blasters are into their third Hero ISL final. They've resisted Jam Sheffield in the second half. So it finished here with the Tilak Medan and the second leg of the semi final. The Kerala Blasters won, Jam Sheffield won. Kerala go through to the final 2 1 on aggregate.